look hi I don't know how to stop the video around facing me or go selfie or 2d maybe but um, let's see if it works okay if I can see myself which I can't see till later I've been asked to show some friends of mine doing Fiji style free range even this is not an actual free range it's a frozen free range murgi chicken Fiji style surwa apologies first I don't have dhania but these spices you should all know that's uh, mustard and cumin fenugreek cardamom cloves uh, what's that cinnamon sticks steiner seeds so sarso zira lawang methi ilaichi padia dalcini and egg piari tail one is one small cover pillow oil which is about 150 ml of cooking oil some salt we have some sweet paprika kashmiri chili powder which is not hot it's only chili powder for flavor and color masala well grounded pure turmeric garlic ginger crush some flavored chili that's not hot onion curry leaves and I play cast iron pot okay the first thing is we'll be sort of putting this on the fire the reason is it's like it gives a smoky flavor and takes off any extra fur feathers on it like for example there all right so it's been raining beautifully outside though now I'm gonna use my so-called outside chula or wood stove. I'll do it on the gas stove instead. So before you do that, aluminium foil you cover around there so you don't drip any crap on it. Which is fatty, watery residue of the chicken. So I'm gonna pause the video and set that up and start the video again. But before that, I'll be adding. Turmeric powder in and out, just not too much, you know, just smear it in and out on the chicken so that it does a flavor adding plus it's an antibacterial powder, we call it. See, so we pause it there, okay, massage it out. hands are bigger than the chicken the fresh of the chicken which is you know you do it your own from your farm but my side is the bone itself has the flavor you know when you sort of a bit of it suckling on the bones this is a free range home raised no antibiotic given to it but commercially packed I don't, I don't do want to kill my chickens so why on the skin? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the skin. Cook it. So turmeric powder on it. Now, see if I can set the video somewhere, and if it records for me. Let's try this. Come to this tent. Got no help. All right. Till it falls. Guess he's on. Sorry. It's here. Sort of. Let's see if it can even see the way.
can't do it, can I? Okay. Can you see anything? Yes. Yes. I'll clean the phone afterwards. And sort of not burning away the excess feathers. If you do it on the open fly, it's much better. Somehow I have to. Things moving around. I can't catch my phone. Oh, hold the phone now. <laughs> Burning smell now. I'm gonna pause the video, okay? See my hands? They're gone. Yellow. I'll see through here better. See, it's alright. This is what you do. You see, you can focus. So you barbecued the top layer of the chicken. One thing I forgot to tell you: clean the chicken inside, wash it, then do this. Because after doing this, you don't want to lose the flavor of the chicken. You know, the smoky flavor. All right, so I'm gonna chop it up. See any? Anything else comes out, so there you go. That's yellow, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna chop it up. And then from there we'll end up cooking it, okay? Hold it guys. Okay. This thing is one I forgot to take out. It's like kidney lungs sort of a thing. It's towards the on the rib end, rear end of the chicken. Pull these things out. People don't, you find it in the KFC chicken, they're still there when you eat it. I don't like it. Take it out. This is the tail bit. Slice the tail bit at an angle off from the top end. I hope the video is clear. Hopefully. Yep. They go in the rubbish. So, so where the backbone, the ribs are, all you'll find inside through here. Pull them all out. Okay. All right, we'll start one thing.